Good morning, my loves. Happy Friday. I know I said I was going to update every day. But man, I get married, y'all, in three weeks. OMG. I can't believe it. Can y'all believe it? Well, y'all don't know me. I can't believe it. <laughs> if you saw my video Monday, it probably sounded like I was kind of whispering which I was in a way because my fiance was home that day because here in Miami, Florida, we had like a really bad, like just rain, rain, rain all weekend long. And apparently it extended to Monday. And um, my honey, he works in um, landscaping. So he got rained out so he couldn't go to work. So you was home all day with me being aggravating. And so in the background, you hear a lot of noise and his, the TV was going, he was watching his movies and just being aggravating, interrupting my work. And so, um, yeah, I was kind of whispering because I wanted to do an update, I wanted to do a video, but he was home. And so I just, you know, I didn't want to be loud. And it just feels weird to do the videos with him here. So, yeah. So, yeah. But I'm pretty sure y'all could hear what I had to say. And so, and I got some really good feedback, which is really awesome. And hey, y'all, to my new subscribers. And we going to do this, y'all. We here. And that's all I'm going to say. She know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, honey. We're going to do this. We're going to get pregnant. And I and it's going to be okay. And it's going to be real funny. Like, remember when we were, you know, you know how you just look back sometimes. Like, remember when we were, like, you know, trying to conceive and it took so long. Now we got four kids and they get on our nerves. <laughs> I pray for you. Act right. You know, so it's going to be fine. Okay. So aside from all that, welcome to cycle number five cycle day 13 and so you know what that means ovulation is fast approaching if it isn't here already because you never really know you never really can pinpoint exactly exactly when you ovulate and so i'm pretty sure since my period comes like on between the 24th cycle day 24th and 26th i have this weekend and i guess the whole of next weekend next week oh yeah i have this weekend and this week i think this weekend is like the most important weekend because i think i ovulate this weekend because they you know the books and everybody says you know between cycle day I think 14 through 16 is when you usually ovulate but that's just like a no but everybody's not regular so according to firstresponse.com they're telling me between i think it's may 2nd to may 6th are my most fertile days and so now we're on today's may 4th so you know so yeah so what i've been doing i'll tell y'all now i tried to bring tea this week and it's surprisingly really good. Like I really envision, I don't know why I got this idea, but I envisioned the green tea um, being bitter, like super really, really bitter. And I don't know why. So I tried to drink, I, drink, I drank it straight the first time I had it and it was okay. So I said, okay, well let me just add some sugar. I added two teaspoons of sugar and two teaspoons of pure honey and it was, it was really good like really good I kind of overdid it on the sugar so I think I'll just do like a teaspoon and a half of sugar and a teaspoon of honey and just drink it like that it's not sweet but it's 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 okay it's all right I can drink it three times a day and be good and so yeah so I've noticed that my cervical mucus has kind of loosened a bit and so I guess the green tea is working. Now I know I said I wasn't gonna really use the um, the Mucinex, but I did purchase some because it was at a good price. I went to Family Dollar. Look, do not buy the Mucinex in Target or in Walmart because it's like you're gonna pay over twenty dollars for it. 
go to Family Dollar. It ain't no shame in going to Family Dollar or the damn dollar store. Y'all stop being, you know, for real. We trying to save some money because once we get pregnant, you know, we're going to be, you know, trying to save, you know, save up to get what we want and to just, you know, buy certain things, you know, at a, at a reasonable price. You don't want to overspend, you know, on something that you may not use for a long time. And so I got the 30, um, 30 capsule of the Mucinex, but I don't know if I'm going to take it, you know. So we'll see. We'll see how the green tea works. Now, I've been doing the green tea, and I've been feeling, like, really, really awesome. And I've also been working out real good, y'all. I'm so sore. <laughs> I am so sore. But I feel awesome. And it's, it's, it's a struggle working out because I haven't, I've been... I haven't been working out since January and so I'm just getting back into it and I've gained a lot of happy weight you know cuz you know me and my honey we just go out and have a nice time and so we both gained weight but I've ballooned you know and so I'm really trying to you know get back into the whole swing of the workout thing and try to get like a really good um you know routine down and so, and plus, you know, the wedding is coming up, so I want to try to, you know, lose as many inches or as much water weight as I can so that I can fit comfort, comfortably, comfortably, I don't know how to talk, y'all. I can fit comfy in my wedding dress. And so, I went to David Bridal's to look for the undergarments, the, and Lord have mercy. <laughs> Man, oh man, oh man. You really don't realize how heavy you've gotten until you go try on stuff and be like, oh, I, was, I used to be this size. And you put it on like, oh, hell no. And so I didn't buy the undergarments yet. I'm just going to give myself a week and a half to do some heavy duty working out. And hopefully when I go back two Mondays from now, I can fit, you know, the size that I want to fit. And so I'm working hard, y'all. I really am. And so I'm just trying to set everything up so that I could, you know, this could be a part of my routine because like I told y'all in my last video, I'm not really trying to, 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 to be crazy when I get pregnant. You know, and you, and you hear I say when I get pregnant. See, one thing about me, you have to speak what you want as if it's going to happen. Because if you don't, then it'll never happen. I always say when I get pregnant, when I have children, I always speak that because it's gonna happen. It may not happen when I want it to happen, but it's gonna happen when the Lord says the same. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing, y'all. So go out, get the green tea. It doesn't hurt and it's healthy for you. I mean, it really doesn't hurt. Now the Mucinex, that's up to y'all. If you tried the Mucinex, let me know and I will try it because I'm already taking the Geritol complete. You know, I, ha I still have not gotten the damn prenatal vitamins. I'm going to get it, y'all, probably today because I'm going to be out and about today because I have to do laundry and mail off some stuff. So, yeah. And so I don't know if I'm going to stay home like I had originally thought that I was going to do as far as like be a stay at home. You know, I decided to get a little job, a, a part-time job. I'm going to find a part-time job because I'm bored. How much cleaning of the house can one person do? And I just can't do it. It's just too it's boring. And I've been working crazy since I was 16 years old. So to go from working and always on the move to just nothing, <laughs> just, you know, just doing housework it's like I clean every day because I just uh, I look forward to just cleaning and doing this and doing that because I have nothing else to do and so I'm gonna get me a little part-time job y'all so I can meet some new friends and you know just have some something to do and when I have you know the baby you know what I'm saying y'all when I have the baby then I'll stay home for a little bit you know, but until we have children, I'm just going to give me a little part-time gig and just get out the house. I'm still, I know he's probably going to be like, oh, you know, he likes me being home. You know how that is. He's super traditional, my fiance, that is. Very, very traditional. He's old school. 
and he's seven years older than I am. See, I'm 30s, he's almost 37. So he's, he's kind of old school minded, which is, which is okay. I know I'm just talking y'all, but I gotta talk to somebody. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, we gonna get it in this weekend. And I hope, you know, for the young lady who says that she was a day um, behind me, girl, y'all get it in. Do what y'all got to do, and we shall see. Since I've been working out so hard, I don't even know. I'm really, really sore in my, my stomach area, my abs, my stomach area. I don't have no abs yet, but um, so I don't know if I'm going through, I'm having like a little pains or whatever. I don't know if that's the, the um, soreness from me working out so hard. Um, I, I don't, I've only had, from my understanding, I've only had ovulation pains once. And it was horrible. So, I don't know. So, I guess we'll just find out. So, y'all stay tuned to next week. Next week is the big, you know, I'll be in my two-week wait. Because my expected period is supposed to come between cycle day 24 and cycle day 26. And so, probably around... Hmm, I'll say, yeah, between the 15th, 16th, that week. So I pretty much have the whole of next week, the weekend, the whole of next week. And so I'll be literally in my two-week wait. So y'all get to work. Get to work. Get your freak on. You know, get it in. Do what you do best. And for those who are offended by me talking about sex, be grown. You know, we all have husbands and fiancés and, you know, relationships and stuff. And we're trying to have a baby, so we're going to be talking about sex a lot. And if anybody has any, like, cool little, um, you know, different positions that you guys use, I know um, a lot of the experts say that a um, missionary position is best. But I also know that doggy style also is best as well because... It um, puts you in perfect position for the sperm to go where it needs to go. And so try it. Have a good time with your mate. And that's the most important thing. Don't even think about it. And that's probably why I haven't been really updating that much. Because I have the wedding. I have so much stuff going on that I'm not even thinking about. You know, I haven't even been searching for anything. I haven't really been thinking about a whole, thinking about it a whole lot, which is good. Because when you obsess, you know, you kind of like mess yourself up a little bit. Because then you get overexcited, just like me. And of course, last cycle, I was extremely disappointed because honey, nobody could tell me I wasn't pregnant, honey. You could tell me. But then I ended up getting my retarded period. And so that's okay. I'm good. And I cried my last cry. We're not crying no more. We're just going to keep it moving, go through it, and we'll be successful. Hopefully, we'll be successful this month. Not this month, hopefully next month. As long as I get pregnant. I know. Let me leave y'all alone. All right, y'all. So, we're ovulating this weekend for those who are on the same wavelength as I am. Get it in, have a good time, enjoy yourself, enjoy your mate, and I will see you guys on Monday, okay? Peace.